Today's Wednesday meditation continues with the book of John, the Gospel of John, and today we'll be reading chapter 4, reading from God's Word translation. A Samaritan woman meets Jesus at the well. First quote. Jesus knew that the Pharisees had heard that he was making and baptizing more disciples than John. Actually, Jesus was not baptizing people. His disciples were. So he left the Judean countryside and went back to Galilee. Verse 4. Jesus had to go through Samaria. He arrived at a city in Samaria called Sychar. Sychar was near the piece of land that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there. Jesus sat down by the well because he was tired from traveling. The time was about noon. The Samaritan woman went to get some water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink of water. His disciples had gone into the city to buy some food. Verse 9. The Samaritan woman asked him, How can a Jewish man like you ask a Samaritan woman like me for a drink of water? The Jews, of course, don't associate with Samaritans. Jesus replied to her, if you only knew what God's gift is and who is asking you for a drink, you would have asked him for a drink. He would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you don't have anything to use to get water, and the well is deep, so where are you going to get this living water? You're not more important than our ancestor Jacob, are you? He gave us this well. He and his sons and his animals drank from it. Verse 13. Jesus answered her, Everyone who drinks this water will become thirsty again. But those who drink the water that I will give them will never become thirsty again. In fact, the water I give them will become in them a spring that gushes up to eternal life. The woman told Jesus, Sir, give me this water, then I won't get thirsty or have to come here to get water. Jesus told her, Go to your husband and bring him here. The woman replied, I don't have a husband. Jesus told her, You're right when you say that you don't have a husband. You have had five husbands, and the man you now have isn't your husband. You've told the truth. Verse 19. The woman said to Jesus, I see that you're a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jews say that people must Worship in Jerusalem. Jesus told her, Believe me, a time is coming when you Samaritans won't be worshipping the Father on this mountain or in Jerusalem. You don't know what you're worshipping. We Jews know what we're worshipping because salvation comes from the Jews. Indeed, the time is coming and it is now here when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and truth. The Father is looking for people like that to worship Him. Verse 24 God is spirit. Those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. The woman said to Him, I know that the Messiah is coming. When he comes, he will tell us everything. The Messiah is the one called Christ. Jesus told her, I am he. 
and I am speaking to you now. At that time, his disciples returned. They were surprised that he was talking to a woman, but none of them asked him, what do you want from her? Or why are you talking to her? The woman left her water jar and went back into the city. She told the people, come with me and meet a man who told me everything I've ever done. Could he be the Messiah? The people left the city and went to meet Jesus. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, Rabbi, have something to eat. Verse 32 Jesus told them, I have food to eat that you don't know about. The disciples asked each other, did someone bring him something to eat? Jesus told them, My food is to do what the one who sent me wants me to do, and to finish the work he has given me. Don't you say, in four months the harvest will be here? I'm telling you to look and to see that the fields are ready to be harvested. The person who harvests the crop is already getting paid. He is gathering grain for eternal life. So the person who plants the grain and the person who harvests it are happy together. In this respect, the saying is true. One person plants and another person harvests. I have sent you to harvest a crop you have not worked for. Other people have done the hard work and you have followed them in their work. Verse 39 Many Samaritans in that city believed in Jesus because of the woman who said, He told me everything I've ever done. So when the Samaritans went to Jesus, they asked him to stay with them. He stayed in Samaria for two days. Many more Samaritans believed because of what Jesus said. They told the woman, Our faith is no longer based on what you said. We have heard him ourselves. And we know that he is really the Savior of the world. A believing official. Verse 43. After spending two days in Samaria, Jesus left for Galilee. Jesus had said that a prophet is no, not honored in his own country. But when Jesus arrived in Galilee, the people of Galilee welcomed him. They had seen everything he had done at the festival in Jerusalem, since they too had attended the festival. Verse 46. Jesus returned to the city of Cana in Galilee, where he had changed water into wine. A government official was in Cana. His son was sick in Capernaum. The official heard that Jesus had returned from Judea to Galilee. So he went to Jesus and asked him to go to Capernaum with him to heal his son who was about to die. Jesus told the official, if people don't see miracles and amazing things, they won't believe. The official said to him, Sir, come with me before my little boy dies. Verse 50 Jesus told him, go home, your son will live. The man believed what Jesus told him and left. While the official was on his way to Capernaum, his servants met him and told him that his boy was alive. The official asked him at what time his son got better. His servants told him the fever left him yesterday evening at 7 o'clock. Then the boy's father realized that it was the same time that Jesus had told him, your son will live. So the official and his entire family 
became believers. This was the second miracle that Jesus performed after he had come back from Judea to Galilee. Amen. What can we learn from this portion of scripture in John chapter 4? Well, the following things stand out. Jesus did not come only for the water, but he came for the woman, for the Samaritan woman. Jesus, ministering to those outcasts of the Jewish society, the Samaritans, reveals that all people are valuable to God, and that Jesus desires that we demonstrate love to everyone, including our enemies. Our testimony about Jesus is a powerful tool in leading others to believe in Him. Many of the Samaritans from that town believed in Him because of the woman's testimony. He told me everything I did. Also, salvation comes only to those who recognize their desperate need for the spiritual life they do not have. Living water can be obtained only by those who recognize that they are spiritually thirsty. Salvation comes only to those who confess and repent of their sin and desire forgiveness. Before this immoral woman could embrace the Saviour, she had to concede the full burden of her sins. Salvation comes only to those who take hold of Jesus as their Messiah, their Redeemer, their Master. For the absolute truth is that salvation is found in no one else but Jesus Christ and Him alone. We also see that the second miracle Jesus performed was the healing of the official son. In verse 50, the man believed what Jesus told him. Do you believe what Jesus says in his word? Will you take him at his word today? Will you obey him in everything he tells you to do? Precious Heavenly Father, thank you Lord for your word. Thank you that we can get inspiration, life, living water from your word. And Lord, I thank you for taking this word today and just quickening it to every heart. In Jesus' glorious name, to your glory, to your praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Stay blessed. It's Pastor Paddock for Laos Dear Ministries International.